Hey, what's up? This is a video response for Fred, Big Star 1000. Um, I do like your channel. Um, learned a lot from you, actually. So, congrats on the four years in the VC. Uh, I don't always comment, but I do watch a decent amount of your videos, so uh, thank you for doing them. I do appreciate it. So, uh, started a thread about faces. I guess um, what faces, that's what I kind of got of it. How faces um, can impact what the album sounds like or how they not how they impact it but how faces show what an album can sound like and I think that's a great thread. I think it's an awesome idea. Um all the vinyl on my show is gonna be hip hop so if it's not your thing, that's cool, but I still wanted to do it just to show my support and thought it was a cool idea. So uh, the first album here is Jizza, Liquid Swords. This is the box set uh chess reissue from I think it's count kind of twenty twelve record store day, not sure, 2013 maybe. Anyways, um, this two guys right here definitely encompass um, a lot of what this album is about and the whole sound and feel, aesthetic of it, I guess, from the kung fu samples and clips to all that stuff. Um, really, really amazing album. I'm sure you've heard this, Fred, and anybody else who's watching, but I mean, for some reason you haven't, definitely go check it out. Classic Wu-Tang album right here. Moving on, we got another classic New York hip hop album, Biggie, Life After Death. Um, you guys get a nice in the camera, there we go. Yeah, Biggie, you know, had an obviously very, very memorable look about him. Um, he called himself, you know, ugly, and you guys know his music, so I'm not going to go into that, but obviously, very, very memorable look that he had. Um, see down here somewhere in the insert? Ah, I'm not going to waste time looking at that, but you want to see covers, so we'll go with the covers. But yeah, his other album as well has a, him as a, uh, well, it's not him, I guess, but it's supposed to be him as a young child, that's also an iconic cover, but... Fortunately, I don't have that right now, so... Another one that's a excellent cover, in my opinion. Definitely encompasses the feel of this album. Definitely. NF Doom, Operation Doomsday, from 1999. Uh, one of my favorite hip-hop albums of all time. Love the concept on this. Um, love NF Doom as a character. You know, or Victor Vaughn. All of his personalities, but... This one is just dope. Metal Face Doom, you know. Dope, dope album. Moving on, got Big Daddy Kane's Long Live the Kane. Um, I mean, just look at his face, fucking. <laughs> Definitely a pimp right there, and he's just so confident in himself, and he should be because he was the best rapper out. Um, no, no one heard rap like that, I guess, in that time. So, um, and he still is, you know, he's still one of the best to ever do it. So. Excellent cover right there. Next up we got um, a less talked about album, but still very, very good. Chill Rob G, Ride the Rhythm from 1990. Um, another just really cool, you know, try to portray the cool look there, but definitely works because this is a great, great album. Definitely smooth. Um, yeah, I don't know. If you haven't heard it, uh, check it out. After that, we got a newer album, actually. This came out in 2012 or 2013. 2013. This is uh, M. Ski and E. The Fifth with the Mark Smith LP. M. Ski is Mark Smith. That's his name. But, um, M. Ski and E. The Fifth. Just going after that classic, you know, look with just them on the cover and that's it. And I love that look, you know. You don't really need anything else on the cover. Just the rapper, producer. That's it. So, amazing album, too, by the way. I don't think a lot of people have heard this outside of uh, people that are actually fans of him, so I definitely recommend this. Definitely has that, um, you know, compass in that older, I guess, hip hop style, and he's just excellent at what he does. So let me just put it that way. And he raps about stuff that matters most of the time. He also has that braggadocious rap, but a lot of time he raps about stuff that matters. Um, classic Marley Mar in Control Volume One. 
Everyone knows this album. No, amazing. Amazing. And then, not to mention all the faces on the back. You know, great. Fucking dope. Love that album. Next up, a bit of a newer one as well. Uh, Percy P. Perseverance. Whole thing produced by Mad Lib. Excellent, excellent album right here. And excellent cover as well, too. Really strong cover of the colors on this. Excuse me. Next up, we got Public Enemy. Oh, it's an accident. Public Enemy. Uh, this is one of Public Enemy's newer albums from 2006. Uh, Rebirth of a Nation featuring Paris, but still, the faces on here to say it all. Chuck D, um, Flava Flav, and Chuck, and, uh, Paris. Even though it's not one of their classic, classic albums, still really good. Considering when it came out, and all that stuff, um, really good. That was actually sent to me by, uh, Travis, final on video, another member of the VC, so. Thanks, Travis, if you happen to see this. And lastly here, but definitely not least, Showbiz and AG, Runaway Slave, um, this is definitely an iconic cover by now, everyone knows this cover, and um, definitely good reason for it. So that's it, um, don't want to keep this too long so I didn't really go into each album because a lot of those I'm sure everyone already knows, you know, but the ones that uh, you might not know, definitely check out, because they're all amazing, and um, like you said, covers definitely do say a lot about the album, so um, that's it, thank you very much for watching, once again, congrats Fred on the uh, four years in the VC, um, I hope you'll stick around for a lot longer, like I said, I really do dig your videos, so, um, alright, that's it, take care, late.